I'm Mark from Anderson's Music and I welcome to part two of our extreme test of the Roman Cube. We, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we, uh, we threw this amp about a bit, did it a bit of damage, see if it would still work. It did. And then, uh, as you know, we put it to the vote on Facebook to see what would happen next. And, uh, you guys voted that we, uh, that we try and blow the speaker, basically, with a few distortion pedals. Now, didn't really go to plan. Kind of the, uh, the cube's a bit too smart for that, uh, as you can see now. These are no pedals. Obviously, pretty disappointed with that result. So uh, while we're here at the warehouse doing some videos for the Roland uh, electronic drum kits, we thought we'll give it to Craig Blundell, see what he can do with it, some drum and bass. So the guys at Andertons have asked me if I can destroy a cube. We're looking at several ways we can destroy a cube. And we thought today the power of drum and bass conquers all. So um, let's play some drum and bass through this little cube, see what happens. We like that, thanks Craig. Uh, we want to knock it up a notch though for next time, so we're going to give you a couple of options. And basically, we want you to vote for either Guildford Cricket Club, uh, they're going to they're gonna bowl at it, or Guildford Archery Club, and they're going to shoot some arrows at it. So uh, we want you to go to our Facebook right now, decide which one you want to do. <laughs> 